Hello everyone and welcome to the 55th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. In this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam. We analyze each one of the submissions, we discover their features and finally we test them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying this video, comment below and what else you'd like to see in my future videos. Why there? Don't forget that like and subscribe button and the little bell icon to know about my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. With all said, let's get straight into it and consume the first creation of this episode. And kicking this episode off with the first creation, we have Aviant Husky. This is a creation done by Mogas. Now, this is meant to be a tandem two seat high wing utility light aircraft. Now, with it comes a couple of features modern cockpit, automatic heater, there's a parachute just in case, of course. There's no gyro in there, so it'll be quite interesting to fly it. Uh, cruise apparently is 108 knots, range is 180 kilometers. Pretty cool, got a couple cool LCDs in there. So let's go ahead, let's spawn this in and see how it flies here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the first creation, you can see this plane looks really cool. Nice and small, nice and compact. It's got a nice little stance here on actually on the ground here. Uh, going along, it seems like we have a maintenance hatch here which just goes into the engine along with that going around seems like a refueling it's gonna use the ropes here on the sides i love the design it looks really cool uh, a little bit of paint blocks here at the back seems like some weather stuff at the top there with a radio it seems like we also have a recharging section there and a little parachute to get in here now we can close the door which has got the parachute in it glass goes and closes we have landing lights avionics main power nav lights etc uh i don't know what that is fuel battery okay throttle rps altitude speed i guess and then our screen ignition flaps position flaps up flaps down monitor mode map okay so map and just that and brakes okay so throttle and ignition let's get the ignition on okay and then i'm Guessing you use up and down on the keyboards. Collective. Yeah, okay, let's see if we can get it lined up here. Okay. Seems pretty good so far. Nice and easy, nice and steady. Happy days. Okay. Let's so see you get lined up here and then we'll get the throttle up on fill. I might need to drop throttle a bit. Okay, and Let's see if we can line it up a bit. I might have been able to take off from the hangar. I didn't want to risk it, to be honest. Uh, let's get throttle up a bit. Okay, so you can control throttle from the hotkeys, which is a nice little addition. Throttle down. And let's start turning here. Okay, so we're almost lined up. And we should be able to then just open the throttle up. Okay, so let's open throttle up. Throttle up there. Pretty straightforward. Oh, hello. Just like that, yeah. And we're up in the air. Nice and easy. Everything is, yeah, look at that. No, no auto part. I don't think there's any hover in there, but it's nice and smooth. Flying really well, very sensitive. So you do have to be careful of that, but it flies really nicely. Can handle, yeah, I can handle. Nice vertical climb there. Turning, yeah, really nice. Let's go and switch the screens here. Flaps up, so we should be able to. Flaps down, slow us down a bit. Okay. Oop, flaps down even more. Okay, well, okay, so let's get flaps to zero. Cool, monitor map up and down. Brakes, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Nice and easy, nice little plane, look at that. Feel really nice. Handles nicely also. Very sensitive. Ooh. Okay, up, 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 climb, climb, climb. Okay, yeah. So almost like a real plane, kind of. Just need to be careful there. But yeah, really cool. Definitely a nice one to start this episode off with. Let's go ahead and let's move on to the next creation of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the MiG-25 Boxbat. This is creation done by Kratax. Now, 
as he says in the workshop here, he said that you need to have patience to operate it. It's especially delicate. Uh, it's probably going to be capable of about 2.8 Mach, uh, which is about what 2,500, 2,800 kilometers per an hour. It says it can reach up to 3,100 kilometers per an hour. So really pretty fast. Uh, along with that, he's got a quite a long procedure to get in, to start up, to take off, to land, etc., etc. There's an ejection seat in there, there's missiles in there. It looks really cool, very complex. So very interested to actually spawn this and actually try and get it flying and trying to get it to work. So let's go ahead and do that and see how it works. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this thing looks absolutely awesome. I love the, the camo job that he's got on it with all the little paint blocks and things. I don't know if those paint blocks are actually white blocks possibly, uh, but yeah, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Going around here, uh, it doesn't seem like we have much. A couple sensors, we have the landing gear, we have some huge fans inside there, um, I guess for intake. We have the landing gear with looks like a refilling connector on that side. We have the missiles there also. Okay, it seems like those are just connected. We also have a button, so I'm guessing that is a release connector of some sort. Uh, we have the big, big thrusters here at the back. I'm guessing those are those are not real thrusters, they're just fans. Um, I'm guessing that's how he gets the speed. I could be wrong. I um, definitely need to check that out. So let's go and try and get into the actual plane. I'm guessing that's opening that, and then just jump. Okay, and we're in. Now let's close the. How do we close that? Okay, keep waypoint, radar toggle screen, zoom, HUD main, HUD night, zoom center, arm braking, parachute, speed hold, up and down speed, weapon bays, ether gear lights, external fuel pump, main fuel hold, main switch, starter hold, nav lights, instrument lights, and canopy. Okay, canopy. Let's get that on. We need, uh, let's go with main fuel hold, main switch, and starter from correct. Go and check our RPS. I don't see it. Let's get our HUD main on. And yeah, so we're good with that. Waypoint stuff. Let's get screens on. Ooh. Zoom in and out. Center. Don't need that yet. Speeds we don't need. Nav lights, why not? Are we moving? Oh, we are. Wow. Uh, throttle, throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. Don't want to move just yet. And we've kind of gone over our own little base thing. Okay, let's get the throttle up a little bit, I guess. Might have to restart the engines here. Uh, okay. Seeing an RPS anywhere. Okay, get that. See if we can get past this. Help to just... Hopefully, we'll come on. Should be able to just slide through past that. Throttle's negative at the moment. Okay, we kind of just need to line up here. Okay, brakes. Okay, it seems like we're doing okay at the moment. We just need to line up. Get our throttle up a little bit. Okay, seems like we are moving very slowly forward. Let's bring the throttle down a bit. We're gonna do a sharp turn now to get lined up there. We'll have to clear that mountain when we turn around. Okay, let's put brakes on and let's see if we can turn here. Seems okay at the moment. A little bit finicky to get out. Okay, let's put brakes back on. Try and turn again. I think I've given myself enough room. Get out. Let's put brakes on. Brakes on. Brakes on again. Okay, so we should be fine now. Now we've got brakes on. Now we should be able to just ramp up that throttle. Take brakes off. Just like that. There we go. Okay, we might need to slow ourselves down here to get. Yeah, let's slow ourselves down. Let's get the throttle way down. Okay, because we need to firstly get level. Okay, and secondly, we need to get our landing gear in. Okay, so throttle's negative apparently. So far. Okay, 
so you get the gears in. Okay, seems like one gear is a little bit stuck there. That's fine, I think I'm going way too fast. Okay, let's drop the speed way down here. Okay, speed should be going down. Oh, we're in a barrel roll now. Let's try and open those gears up again. Okay, throttle is currently negative. Okay, I can see the island down there. I guess I'm going to on towards it. Let's try and start aiming ourselves up. Oh, we're in a barrel roll. Okay. Try and bring ourselves up here and stop getting us in a barrel. Reach throttle maybe. There we go. Seems like that landing gear is giving us a little bit of pain in the ass. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can slow it down here and actually keep it level at the same time. The controls are inverted, so you do need to just be aware of that. So they're not the easiest of controls to master. Um, it's not easy. Oops, no, that's throttle. Oh, let's pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, uh, throttles, that one. Yeah. Not the easiest of things to fly. I think it takes a little bit of practice, guys. Uh, definitely, definitely takes some practice to get used to this. But once you get up, you can get up to a good speed. Whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah. We don't even know what speed we're going at. We were going really fast there. Um, Listen, it's a cool creation, it just needs a lot of practice, as he says in the workshop, and a lot of patience to get it to fly exactly right. Um, but yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, we didn't get to test a few things, the way the controls are inverted from what I'm used to at least. Um, but yeah, really cool one. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Shanley. Now this is done by a content creator called Brits Braz. Now you guys know him from the last episode where he did that awesome creation. Now he said he's gone and built this, this is the second one. Uh, so quite interested to obviously see how this one operates. Uh, it kind of looks like some kind of like farming tool-ish kind of thing. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's spawn this in and see how it actually drives here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this thing is massive. It's absolutely huge. Uh, it seems like we have some type of like, as I said, like some type of arm for mining or farming or some sort. Uh, it seems like we have some controls and cockpits inside there. Uh, we have the big wheel that we saw before on the last creation with some suspension and things. We have the tracks here at the back, some more wheels here at the back. Uh, what else do we have? Seems like some cabins or of some sort uh, on the sides there. Let's go and check those out. So if this is like the old creation that he did, those cabins, if I'm correct, are going to be empty. I don't know if he's going to be working on the interior. So yeah, you can see those cabins are empty. But that's fine. It doesn't, ha doesn't have to have anything in there. Let's carry on going up here. It's got some batteries and things. I love the shade of like red slash maroon. It's really cool. You can see the kind of like rigging he's got going on going along there that's awesome seems like the engines of some sorts uh it looks like some big diesel engines inside there let's carry on let's go i think we have driving seat yeah so this is the driving seat here we'll go and jump in seems like nothing really much toggle toggle push up and down but okay toggle toggle up down Something's moving. Oh, so that's the actual crane arm. Okay. That's cool. So you can go and move that. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I don't know, I'm not too sure. I think he, I, I would recommend maybe getting those labeled uh, if you guys figure that out. Otherwise, I'm sure the creator will actually go and label them. Uh, but we know that controls that. And then we have the steering, it looks like. So it's door, throttle, throttle, okay engine starter so let's get throttle 35 throttle 35 engine starter and i'm guessing 
Yeah, WSD to control. Let's get the throttle up. Yeah, look at that. Oh, awesome. That, oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Now, be aware, I'm playing with with vehicle damage off because uh, obviously I experienced last time a little an issue with that. Uh, but this is, without it, it's running absolutely perfectly. That is, oh, that is awesome. That is a sight to see there. Look at that. That's incredible. See the arm moving up and down there in the front. Suspension of the back with the wheels turning. That looks incredible. Really nice creation. A lot of detail. All the rigging, all the everything. It looks incredible. And the big wheel in the middle also looks really good. Let's go and just slow it down here and let's see if we can stop it. Okay, I think just lower these throttles. Cool. And just like that, we're stopped. Or just about at least. Yeah, a really nice one for the third creation of this episode and for his second second creation that we've looked at. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the next one of the episode, we have the GNV2 Rescue Vessel Replica. This is a creation done by Logs. You guys know his work already on the workshop. Now, this is something different from what we usually see from Logs. Logs is obviously used to into the more advanced uh, futuristic things. This is actually going to be a replica of the rescue vehicle. Now, he said he actually has volunteered on this himself, so he knows it quite well. This actually is a search and rescue boat in the Norwegian Rescue Service Society uh, with volunteer crew of course being himself here. Now it's got a quite a lot of cool features in there. He says it's got a little bit of a startup, uh, startup process in there. We have to do a couple things. So we'll double check on that. Uh, there's computers in there. There's plotting course and autopilot. There's radio. There's equipment. There's features including autopilot, fire hose, interact max, radar, camera, etc, etc, etc. So really cool. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's spawn this in and see how it drives you around here in the world of Stormbox. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this thing looks absolutely gorgeous with all of its writing and paint blocks everywhere. It's got a nice little profile to it. Let's go and jump in. Let's have a look underneath it. So underneath seems like we don't have really much on there. Uh, it seems like some fins of some sort hidden on the side there. Uh, but besides that, not much else. Uh, it seems like a little, I don't know, propeller. Uh, some more fins and things. I don't actually see the water jets uh, anywhere, but okay. Oh, there they are there. Okay, so we have the water jets there. Uh, going on to the back of the vessel, let's just jump up. More paint blocks everywhere. Looks awesome. Mag or with it seems like it's a regular mag on there too. Uh, we have a hatch. What is here? So mooring. Okay, so mooring cable in there. Mooring cable in there. Cool. Going along, it seems like we have a electrical connector or refilling connector there. Uh, we have just the walkway in the front. Uh, not much else there. Just some mooring handles and things. We have a hatch. Ooh. Uh, that goes into it very nice little hatch there and nothing else really at the front nice little spotlights and things here at the top and some other things hidden around there uh, so let's go to the back oh if i don't fall off uh, let's see if we can get back on here okay so back in the door okay jump into the door here okay okay what do we have at the back so we have a connect land power main battery radio channel stuff okay we have some seats more seats more seats and a hatch okay so that's the hatch to go down oh, that's pretty cool we have a little front cabin here okay i'm guessing this is where the beds would be i'm guessing scuba gear some polo gear lights okay for it here nice we then have like this little down section with a flashlight flashlight locker okay interesting uh flashlight locker Along with that, not much else going on in here. It just seems like some logic and things hidden around. Quite nice though. Little lights and things. I'm guessing that would be a hatch to go to the engine room at some stage. Okay, uh, let's see if we can climb up here. Oops, nope, okay. Uh, let's see if we can jump to that seat. There we go. Okay, close the seat. Uh, driver and navigator. Let's go to driver's seat. We have no alarms, mute, okay. RPM next. Fuel. Amp. 
RPM, okay. BFF change, push to talk, steering, VHF, side lantern, green lantern, uh, top lantern, rear lantern, towing lights, duck lights, horn, deck lights, side lights, fire pump, front lights, bilge pumps, red bridge light, engine emergency stop, block course, search lights, search lights, port search lights, engines on, screen one, screen two, screen three. Okay, so it seems like a map, uh, next for radar, camera, camera, and map. Okay, so it's a applause cut of some sort. Okay, nice. Okay, so degrees, okay, autopilot, search lights, up and down, emergency tow, starboard clutches, throttle, screens up and down. So let's get throttle, let's get engines on. Okay, and good. I think you just have to use the up and down if I'm correct. So spotlights, okay, so we have sync, port jet clutch, okay, starboard jet clutch, okay, so we can just go forward, let's get the throttle up here, I'm going to sync the throttle on the jets, throttle limit off, okay, why not, oh, hello, uh, where are you going, uh, okay, I'm going to get the throttle limit off, throttle limit off, off, yeah, it's just going, it's, for some reason it seems like it's a little bit sticky, on the left and right but once it's going it's going really well looks absolutely awesome uh, search lights we don't really need to check out I want to check out this plot courser so we seem to be fine on our heading let's go and just put a plot here so let's do like there put that in a system that on our map now doesn't look like it okay and let's do emergency strobe lights. Ooh. Nice, like those in the front, so that's cool. Let's go and try our autopilot system now. So toggle autopilot hold cruise course. Oh, it just holds the current cruise course, actually doesn't take you to that autopilot system. Okay, yeah, I remember reading that. So sideline sends green. Yeah, I'm it feels like it does feel like it's very sticky. On the steering, it just could be me. Yeah, it is sticky or some sorts. I don't know. I could be wrong. It just could be just be the thrust of the jets. Um, but it does handle really well. Like it, look, it turns really nicely. Love is very nice and smooth. Very cool. I want to get us straight here and I want to unlock that speed. Should be going much quicker now. How's our fuel though? I think I'm ready to see. RPM is good. Fuel 92%. Not bad on fuel to be honest. No alarms. That's good. It's always good to hear. Let's see if we get these lights on. Top lantern, green lantern. Yeah, all the lights are on. Let's get the emergency lights off. I think it's this switch here somewhere. There we go. Back in there. Port search lights. Yeah, lanterns are on, working well. Yeah, really nice, nice and stable too. I don't know how it's going to do in some weather here. Let's get some, let's get some wind on. Water jets are always a funny thing when it comes to, when it comes to, wind and stuff. It seems like it's doing fine. And things staying in, in there really well. Nice, nice little creation. Really nice one for the first, fourth one of this episode. Oops. Yeah, cool. Very nice one. Loads of detail in terms of radars and things you have in here. All types of different things. Nice little bunch of screens. Performance is really well. Not any lag at all, which is also really cool. Definitely a nice one. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the RPA 15 Incident Response Vehicle. This is a creation done by Mika Vidwell. 
now I probably can pronouncing it wrong I do apologize if I am uh, this is meant to be one of the multiple patrol vessels in the port of Rotterdam in the Netherlands now this is meant to go and report to incident as he says in the name of the ship itself now it's got a little bit of a drive uh, startup procedure including also a drive mode which is pretty cool there's a lot of features including roll stabilization active weight stabilization standalone generators bilge pumps there's fire cannons water supplies radars lidars vhf towing refueling searchlights maps you name it it's got it in it and it looks absolutely stunning so let's go ahead let's spawn this in and see how it drives around here in the world of stormworx and spawning in the next creation you can see this thing looks absolutely gorgeous now it does have a automatic engine start it seems like but just look at the paint blocks here going towards the back of the ship oh my word we have winches with mag oils on them we have connector tie downs here oh man this looks incredible we have a little railing system here you can go and unload and offload cargo uh we seem to have i don't know a fire it looks like fire extinguishers of some sort over here going at the back uh we have what is it here it's a reef looks like some type of way to go and like refuel the ship or um, uh, you can pump water into the ship okay cool uh going along we have some emergency side doors there uh so much detail on here a little hatch to get in uh going along you can see the interior a bit there going along we have a, another maggle at the front which looks like some more like kind of like water cannon kind of things like release pumps okay interesting uh, cool. let's go and get in the first door here uh so hallway lights that's always useful to have let's see do we need to close this door does it automatically close oops let's go okay oh wow it's even got paint blocks on the floor here that's cool we have the mess so you can see in here we've got a map a little seating area loads of detail love the amount of detail in there let's get mess lights of engine room okay let's go and check out this engine room we have lights let's go down the ladder here let's get the lights on a little engine room here so we have the bilge pumps on auto we have engines on manual engine starter one two three four five six seven temperature oh cut off engine one cut off toggle button so ballast systems love the lure there um seems like some depth settings calibrates open oh wow so you can actually open these up to see logic wow that's a little there uh, let's go and open this door uh engine room lights well engine room looks really cool we have some fire pumps we have generator throttle little generator thing on there the engines themselves going along here it seems like we have a toggle button to look at the i think it's the ballast ballast in here if i'm correct and that's that's awesome the amount of detail on here is cool. let's go and get this closed off here Close that, turn the lights off. Uh, let's go back upstairs. Oh, what's in here? Fire equipment? Oh no, your breakers and things. Okay, so all your breakers you might need. Cool, let's go and turn those lights off. Let's go back up to the next section. Let's close that door. What else do we have? A uh, gear room, okay. Oh, nice. That's nice. some things in here, some equipment and stuff. Great, let's go and close that and let's go up to the next level. So it seems like we have the bridge up here. Now, up in the bridge, just going at the back, let's just go outside and let's see what we have. So we have a little walkway to obviously walk around. Seems like we have some like kind of like fire cannon of some sort. So yeah, fire cannon, you can go and turn and swivel and stuff. I like how I was using the hose there to connect it up. Uh, some more equipment, a way to get up to, well, there's actually a huge crane here. Control the cane, I'm guessing from inside. Uh, let's go up to the next level. Just have the mast and the stuff and stuff there. That's oh, on a detail, guys. On this is incredible. Uh, so it seems like we have the crane operator. Yeah, so roll pitch up, down, connectors, crane, lights. Nice. Okay. What else do we have? We then have a looks like a little seat. I don't know what that does. Uh, we have a navigator and pilot seat. So pilot seat. Autopilot, autopilot, just our drive modes and RPS and fuel and stuff. Switch top right display. Okay, what's that one? Okay, that one. So that's got our ballast system on it. Switch bottom right. That's got heaters, generators. Oh, so that's all our lights and things. Oh, that's cool. So you can turn on your exterior, 
off, do your running lights, navigation, towing, ground, cool. Anchor system, drive mode, fog horn, let's go look at the navigator. Radar, map, nice. Radio, go and turn that off. Let's go to the seat here. That's pretty much about it. And just some searchlights and fire cannons. Fire, fire cannons. Oh, look at that. Nice little fire cannons. Awesome. That looks really nice. Okay, let's turn the fire cannons off. Uh, let's see if we can get this throttle up. So throttle control with WS. Drive mode one. 25, 30, 30. 37, 38, wow, 40 knots from a ship like that. That's awesome. That looks incredible. Drive mode, so drive mode two. Like 40 knots dropping a little bit there. 37. Okay. Handles really well. Wow. Okay, that's very movable. Drive mode three. Seems a little bit more steady. Okay, that's what maneuver mode. I'm guessing that's just for maneuvering. Yeah, just for maneuvering when you're in the dock area and things. Turns really well. Okay, let's get up into drive. That's tow. Oh, even got towing mode. I guess towing mode is just like huge torque. Yep, it is. Okay, wow. Uh, let's put in maneuver no. Drive mode three, one. I'm gonna get in one. Okay, let's get throttle up. Okay, I want to actually test out. First off, I'm going to test the navigation system. So let's put the navigation on to that waypoint. Okay, and what we're going to do is let's put the, as always, we have to put the wind up and let's see how it handles with that wind. We've got an auto balancing system, so this should be quite steady, guys. You can see those fins on the sides there, hopefully helping it. Yeah, that's doing really well. Not even, not even worried. Now it's just a beautiful looking ship. I have to say, it's absolutely gorgeous. Turning really well on the waves too. Yeah, that is a that is a really nice one. Nice creation. Has everything you might want in it. From all these little screens to radar to everything. Absolutely incredible creation. A nice one to end this episode off with too. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it something entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.